December 27th, 2018. Everyone is busy playing Fortnite on their PCs until there is a notification. Subnautica is now free to claim for a week. Ever since then, things haven't been the same around the PC gaming community. Firstly though, it's important to point out in case you're not aware that Epic is not the one that started this whole giving away games thing at the first place. Long before Epic Games, stores like GOG and Uplay had already been known to have given away several titles, including AAA games, only not that frequently. In the recent times, however, you may have noticed that companies are more often giving away games and not just some old games. Prime Gaming, for example, has literally given away Battlefield 1, 4, 3, 5 as of right now, along with Epic Games giving away games such as Subnautica, GTA 5, Battlefront 2, Control, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and much much more like the latest Tomb Raider trilogy right now. Unlike some games though, let's take Subnautica as an example, a game that fully relies on their sales as the income. Wouldn't it be absurd for them to give away both the titles they've ever made? Same goes with Tomb Raider. How come have they given away all the Tomb Raider games from the rebooted franchise that came out recently? Also, who exactly decides whether if a game is to be given away, the stores or the studios themselves? And how long will they keep doing this? Now since we're talking about free games here, here's a word from our sponsor, Salad. Salad allows you to make the use of your PC's idle power to make it earn you rewards, like Discord Nitro, Steam gift cards and games, Amazon gift cards and much much more. The way this works is through mining, which might make you wonder, is it safe? Yes it is, as long as you have a decent PC which runs well, Salad should work just fine. You could also read more about it in the articles from the description. And to add up, you can also check out their source code on GitHub or read their Trustpilot reviews if you wish to. Salad works best when you're not doing anything on your PC, like say when you're sleeping or just doing something lightweight. So whenever you're ready, head over to the link in the description, download Salad, run it, sign up and use my code PRI to double your earnings for some time. To begin, just hit start and see how long does it take you to claim yourself a game like Resident Evil Village. If you have any questions, you may check out the other links in the description for the same. So what are you waiting for? Download Salad today. Now to analyze things, we have to talk about GTA 5. Did you know that Grand Theft Auto 5 is the most profitable entertainment product of all time? Not only that, but it sold over 20 million copies in 2020 alone, which is the highest since 2013. Yes, back when the game was released versus the year when Epic Games gave it away for a week. How does that make sense? If you think about it, we have the answer right there. Going back to May 14th, 2020, back when it was just a rumor everywhere that GTA 5 is gonna be the next free game on the Epic Games Store and for the first time we were seeing this mystery vault hiding up something inside, most of us did not really expected it to be GTA 5. And so finally, the vault thing opened and oh my god, GTA 5, unbelievable. The reason why this sort of thing is special is because it's a limited time thing. The game isn't going to be free to play forever. It's more like we have 7 days in which the game has a 100% off discount. And there's literally no catch. Now let's talk about Steam, the dominating game marketplace. Lately though, Epic Games has been trying to climb the ladder in order to take down Steam to become the number one game store out there. In 2020, Steam had over 65 million daily users, while Epic had a little over 30 million. Both are huge numbers, but it took Epic a lot of exclusives like Hitman 3 and free games to reach there, which probably costed them a lot. Speaking of which by the way, in case you were not aware, Epic currently loses money each year in order to get the exclusives and free games. 
This is their way of investing right now in order to increase the number of users and compete with Steam. Which once again enlightens the question in the title, why? Well, the simple answer is that companies like Epic are doing this as goodwill to gain more users and their trust. And while this works, the second thing is since these offers are limited time and not everyone is active on internet communities, it causes these certain games to gain trend. And believe it or not, a lot of people actually buy these games afterwards. Once again, taking GTA 5 as an example like we talked about before, the game literally hit its biggest sale numbers since 2013 just because it was given away for free. And so this of course benefits both the game publishers and the stores. And so why not? Also, although it's not clear as to who initially pitches whether if a game should go free, but it's probably the stores most of the times. They likely offer some sort of a deal to the publishers. So for instance, even if they given away the entire Tomb Raider trilogy, the rebooted one right now, for free, it's not a big surprise that it will likely increase its sales afterwards, while also increasing the hype for the franchise at the same time, that might even make them announce their next sequel. The real question however at the end comes to whether if companies like Epic will continue doing this. And although there's no word out there, the way this should be perceived is as if offers come and go. They just don't stop with those. That's how a store works. So it is highly unlikely for them to stop such offers, especially if it's working well for them. But it will be no surprise if they start doing it less often once they reach their specific goals. The best part here is that for us gamers, it will always benefit us. So if you're someone who wants to stay up to date with free games, I highly recommend you to check out Should You Play It as well as Low Budget Gaming on YouTube. Or you can check out my website freetoclaim.com. And that will be it. Subscribe for videos every week and thanks for watching.